The Exus T model uh, is a brand new model for Hymer and it's, uh, it's the start of their range now of the low profile models. The Exus T range has been uh, designed alongside the Exus I uh, as a lightweight motorhome, um, but the Exus T is a, is a low profile rather than an in integrated model. People who've got larger or top of the range vehicles are often impressed with um, Exus T because they see many of the influences present in the top end uh, behind the vehicles, straight back down into the Exus T. Uh, and a lot of the features they are amazed by the way they package things in smaller spaces uh, and, and then the way it drives, you know, it's so nimble being on a, on a, a smaller, shorter uh, chassis. The driving experience is enhanced in, in many ways. The fact that it's uh, very car-like to drive and very cleverly and carefully spec'd and that's what uh, I think um, adds to the attraction and the appeal of that range. Also you've got the um, MPG factor, so you're using less fuel uh, and it's more efficient. Uh, and nimbler on the road, you know, it's, it's, it'll stop quicker, accelerate better, better for overtake and all those features too. The main part of the market in, in Germany um, enjoys using their motorhome all year round and so being winterised is very important to, the, uh, to them. Um, and, and we find the same in this country. We have a lot of people who uh, see the benefits of having a motorhome that's uh, available to use all year round and if they enjoy pursuits just like skiing then uh, it's very possible to use it on holiday. Though. People who definitely travel and when they're away they travel daily, you know, so they'll perhaps have a, an interest or a hobby whilst they're away, so they'll find a nice site. But going on from that they may have an interest in architecture or, or surfing or sailing or fishing and then they'll want to go from the site directly to what they want to do. So they're the people that are always moving that tend to buy an Exus T. The technical specification of the Exus T is, uh, is very similar to the Exus I and to the rest of the Pima range. So Fiat, Alco, uh, chassis and uh, Poil's uh, superstructure, aluminium construction methods. There are also um, some very nice ex um, accessories that are available from the factory including uh, all the warm water heating systems, um, body paint, graphics, uh, awnings, reverse cameras. The majority of customers that have had UK produced vehicles tend to find with a, with a Hymer or a, a, something such as a Hymer that they find that uh, when they have a test drive is that the first thing they recognise or notice is the lack of rattles and squeaks and jolts and twisting uh, and the build quality and the thoroughness of how they're manufactured shows through immediately for those guys. The Exus T um, this, uh, was a brand new model this season and uh, there are only three floor plans available but for 2015 model year there the range will be extended to 11 floor plans uh, from 5.99 metres right the way up to 7.5 metres. Um, the Exus T um, uh, allows us to offer um, the, the, the quality of, and uh, the luxury of Hymer uh, at a very competitive price point um, competing with many of the British brands.